Hello guys and welcome to Coin Bros Gaming. I'm Eli Bot, and today I'll be showing you how to uh, get download Revolution, get it on your Wii, and play Super Classic Mario Bros Wii. Step one is to make sure you have everything you need. You need a Wii console. I only know that works in the U.S. That's and it. I don't know if it works in any other countries. I'm sorry, guys. Some of you guys just have to find out or help me figure it out. Sorry, guys. We do not support the Wii Mini. Wii Mini. And you need a new Super Mario Bros. Wii official game disc. I only know that works in the U.S. I'm not sure if it works in Europe, Australia, or Japan. I'm sorry. Something else you have to figure out again. And then SD slash SDH card with at least 100 megabytes on it and formatted to FAT. Very important. Uh, and a way to access your SD slash SDH card to transfer files from your computer to card. How to format your SD slash SDHC card? Well, right here, let's just say this was your card. Right click on it. Go down to format. This will delete everything on the card. I would recommend it being blank or everything backed up on it or whatever. And make sure it's fat. 32 is default, but make sure it's just fat. Okay? I'm not, you could try fat 32, it's up to you, but I recommend just fat. Then you, you'll make sure everything's right. Location that don't leave it leave it everything normal, and then res and then quick format. I recommend taking it off quick format and then clicking start. This is very dangerous, guys. This will delete everything on the flash drive. Okay, so now I'm on the Wii menu. Click Wii. Then I need you to click Wii settings. Version right here, see? For 4.3U. Then scroll over to internet, click that. Please input your PIN. Now I'll do that right now. Okay, restrictions have been temporarily removed, uh, etc. So then click connection uh, console information. And then as you can see here, I have blocked out my uh, MAC address so that you guys don't see it. And this one's already 0000, zero, 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 zero and that does not matter. The MAC address, which is right here, is what's going to matter. Okay. Okay, so now we are at Letter Bomb. And link in the description where you can uh, go to Letter Bomb. Okay, so system menu version. Uh, so as you as we saw before, go into the settings and they'll show you all the menu, uh, your version of your uh, Wii. So we got these options. This one stands for United States. This one stands for Europe. This one stands for Japan. And this one stands for Korean, I believe. Korea. Something like that. Anyway, so this is the, if you're in America, pick this one. And then your MAC address. Now, I'm, in, I'm not going to show you my MAC address, but um, you you would type your MAC address in. It's You cannot just do ones and zeros. It has to be a real Wii MAC address. Um, okay, then bundle the Hack Me installer for me. Yes, keep that in there. Type in the text, which would be 6... Two nine six, which is really it's gonna be different every time you do it. Cut the red wire, cut the blue wire, whatever you feel comfortable with. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I tap typed in my MAC address. Um, I'm gonna cut the blue wire, and there's the file. There we can now we can download it. Um, and it may be different if you're on a different browser. So just so you guys know, now I'm going to click. Okay. 
it'll save the file. I'm waiting for it to download. And there it is. Now it is done downloading. Okay, so now we're on the flash drive for the Wii. I'm actually using a demo one, so this folder would actually not be here. Um, this one right here, but this private one will sometimes be here, and it may not be. If this exists, please rename it to private old, and then leave it alone. There's 7-Zip. Seven 7-Zip seven looks like this, and links in the description to get 7-Zip. Um, and now, we're using this. We it's, You install the program, and I already installed it. So once you install it, now you, well, then you can delete this. So uh, Yes. Okay, so now I you right-click on Letter Bomb after you install that program. 7-Zip. Extract files here. And you want to extract it to the root. Root is right here. This is root right here. Letter bomb, this is root. So this is, you can now delete the zip folder if you want, but I would love to save it for later. And I'm deleting it. And then delete all the text files, which would literally be all these, and then delete them. Are you sure you want to delete all these six files? Yes. Now you are down to this. Private, and it has all the files, whatever files that this needs and then um well, letter bomb now has its file in there all you do is e all you need to do is eject your sd card pull it out put it in your wii start up your wii and i'll show you that right now okay now in now insert your um uh sd card into your wii and then go to the Wii message board, and you should see something like this. Now, I am not on the Wii right now because I, did, I was look. I didn't want to ruin my Wii because I already have everything installed and a bunch of mods installed and all stuff like that. So what you do is you go to Wii message board, scroll back a few pages or forward a few pages. It's most likely back a few pages, and then click on this that 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 red letter with the bomb and it says the SD card. Click on that. And then let's see, this one will show next, and then this will take a really long time, like 30, 30 to a minute, 30 seconds to a minute to get that one button to appear, this little one button right here to appear. It'll take a long time, but you should just, just be patient, and, it, and it'll, it'll get there. And then next, you'll see this screen. It says hack me installer version 0.8 C 2008-2010. Team Twizzlers, the test results are in using iOS versions. Yada 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 yada. And it says can be installed. Boot me can be installed. If this says can be installed, congratulations. Congratulations, that's very, very good. Click continue. After you click continue, you will get shown to this screen. This screen, click install the homebrew channel and then you will be now be able to exit after it installs make sure it installs successfully and then exit that and then you need to delete boot.l delete private those two can be permanently deleted yes and then do not delete private old rename it to well sorry that p which should have been lowercase but um anyway um rename it to just private again and then that should be all okay so now download revolution uh link in the description of this video to download revolution right click and extract it here to the root of the SD card. You can delete Revolution if you want. I would save it for later, but since this is a video, I'm going to delete it. Now, this is going to be sound a little bit weird, but you're going to have to create two revolutions. Um, but first, create a new folder and put apps. And then copy Revolution. This is going to sound a little weird. And then go in apps and then paste it. Now, you're going to have two revolutions one out here and one in the apps folder. And that's okay. On to the next step.
Okay, so now go to our website and go to Downloads. Download the game. Click here to download Beta 1 of Super Classic Mario Bros. Wii. Click that. Okay, so now that we're here, click Download through your browser. Now it's a fairly small file, really small file actually. This is the beta though. So like, I mean, if you're watching this and this is like later in time, then the file will be probably a lot bigger. So anyway, um, now that it's done downloading, you can see up here in the downloads, it's there. Okay, so now that you've downloaded Super Classic Barbaros, we put it to the root of the SD card. Right click. 7-zip extract here. Okay. Now you, I recommend saving this file, but you can also delete it as well, which I'm going to do. Yes. Okay, so now leave everything out except for this .xml file, or .xml document. Click and hold it, and then move it to Revolution, the Revolution folder. And then it'll be in Revolution right here. And that's all you need to do for this step. Now it's over to the Wii. Okay, so now I'm at the Wii. I would recommend it in your disc now, but it doesn't really matter. New Super Class, New Super Mario Bros. Wii disc, and then now just go to your homeboot channel. Click start. Okay. I'm waiting for it to load. Okay, here it is. The homeboot channel. Now, I have other stuff installed, so as you could probably tell, I have like all these other ones installed when actually it would only be this one installed when you're here. If this is your first time. So click Revolution and then you can read about it. But just click Load. Wait for it to load up. And here's Revolution. Apparently I'm the third, third one right now. Okay, so it's loading the disk. It may take a little while, so don't don't get upset. It will take a lot of while. Sometimes it takes a really long time to load the disk, but there it is. Okay, so I have a, a lot of mods, but um, you want to make sure everything else is disabled. So, like, this is enabled, disable that. Make sure all your mods are disabled. Make sure everything's disabled. Then I'm going to go to Super Classic Mario Bros. Wii, enable that. And this right here would say install, and you would click that, and it would install it. But if you click this, it'll remove it from your Wii. Clicking that will install it to your Wii so you can uninstall the um, Homeboot channel. Then click Launch. You don't have to though. If you don't want to install this on your Wii, you don't have to. Here's the game. Now this is probably a lot different from if you're, when, if you're watching this video later in time. And press 2 again. And there it is guys. So now you can have fun playing Super Classic Mario Bros. Wii. Um, yeah, right now this is the beta version of what we're playing right now. But anyway, thanks guys so much for watching this video. If you want to support us in everything we do, please subscribe. And um, if you want to just, um, yeah, do that, then, you know, you of course you can subscribe. Just like that. You did say that. Why well, I keep repeating myself. Anyway, I like the video. Then share it with your friends and stuff if they want to know how to install Homebrew and Revolution and how to play mods. Just share this with your friends. This also works. This tutorial will work for any... Um, new Super Mario Bros. Wii mod. Just instead of downloading, um, downloading uh, Super Classic Mario Bros. Wii, download like newer, super, newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. You know, and then just, just proceed with the same procedure. Um, it's pretty simple because once you got it set up on your Wii and everything, it's really easy to install the mods. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Bye, bye.